sometimes there's, like you said, well, this medication doesn't work for me or this, this thing doesn't work for me. Um, and, and finding, you know, shifting, shifting to where we can find things that, that do work, things that uh, are helpful for uh, how we feel. And that may be things in our lifestyle very often. I think that, um, you know, in terms of helping patients with their lifestyle management, it's really those like, like five factors of well-being. Um, just briefly to mention those like sleep, diet, movement, uh, community, mm. and stress and helping patients manage those items uh, can be so impactful for, for chronic pain. Yeah. And that's a lot to throw on just a pain doctor. It is. So yeah. that's why we do need that community. We do need that support network. I am here right now as a, as a support network for you. Um, I am here for anybody that listens to the show that just wants to, I mean, I get more like Instagram messages and emails and stuff, and it's getting more and more, which I'm so grateful for, because it means I'm touching at least one person every day. Yeah. Um, and I'm touching more of you. <laughs> Yes. Um, I, it, it's, it makes me feel like the work that I'm helping to do is helping other people feel more hopeful and, and to go, oh my gosh, I had no idea. I get a lot of men that listen to this show that are trying to help their wives or their mm -hmm. mothers or their sisters or their daughters. And they reach out to me, which is incredible. So thank you men for paying attention. <laughs> we got a lot going on. <laughs> We need them. We need we all of them. We need all of it. And and those are really important pillars. And a lot of them sleep is huge when you live in pain, live in pain. Mm -hmm. I mean, how do you sleep when you live in the kind of pain that we do? I don't. Yeah. And it, 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 that is the number one challenge. And then by proxy, if I sleep, my body starts to heal. And I mean, it just goes through all these things. 